Brothers in the Providence, Rhode Island, Irish American neighborhood known as the Hill. Chris Brown, the person you're looking at right now. <laughs> like it's just a uh, 16 year old trying to make it in the music industry, uh, trying to make a difference, trying to make it okay for you to be yourself, trying to make it okay for you to be an individual. Swagger. Um, something that I might have a little bit of. Being in New York for two years, just getting a whole persona and whole um, the way I carry myself a little bit is a little different. More hip hop, more not saying more street, but just a little, just a little bit more hip hop and I guess what they like to call urban. <laughs> vibe, um, vibe. I had to say the front cover. Got a chance to be on that front cover. Thanks to a lot of people, all the people at Vibe, they helped me out and um, like gave me the opportunity to do it. It was just a great experience for me to do it, and it was fun. I had, a, I had an enjoyable time. Let me hear say. Sex appeal. Something that I, I've heard I had, but I'm not gonna say I do. That would be the conceited thing to say. But uh. Sex appeal is, is great for women to have sex appeal. That attracts the, the young gentlemen or the other gentlemen. Anyway, do I have sex appeal? I don't know. It's your decision. Young Love, a uh, song on my album. Just uh, It's like a teenage anthem. More experienced, mature uh, folks might, might not understand or get the concept of Young Love between your teenagers, or they might reminisce on it. Prom, something that I wasn't really looking forward to it. Like a lot of people would say, you gonna miss your prom. Um, it was all cool to me because I, uh, I really got a chance to just hang out with my friends since, what, kindergarten? So I wouldn't really want to see this, the same people over and over and over and just getting dressed up for no reason to me. But um, I might go to somebody else's prom though. High school, um, something that I'm not attending right now, but I have a, a, a homeschool tutor. I'm in 11th grade, it's great. It's great to um, be able to go back to your own high school or, or, or just sit in class with your friends and just joke around and stuff and still get your work done. Tabahandi, Virginia. Very small, but um, a lot of people there. A lot of, it's like, not a lot of people there. It's like two, three thousand people there. But um, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to like live there and, and just for me to grow up and have friends and, and be in a small community, learn different things as well as go to other communities and learn and play sports and just have fun. May 5th is my birthday, so make sure y'all buy me a present. It's like not playing. Run it, my first single. Went number one in five weeks. Have fun with it. Yeah. I know y'all probably heard it, but I know y'all probably tired of it right about now, ain't y'all? I'm just playing. But it's a great song. Music uh, engulfs my life right now. I'm engulfed in music as well as, as, well as the whole entertainment part of music. Just performing, recording. Doing some more shows, singing some more, all that. Sports uh, was number one in my life until singing. I played basketball ever since I was like six or seven, or even like football. I played football. I broke my wrist, so I, I focused more on basketball and I broke my wrist in football. So I played baseball as well. I played a little bit of soccer, but uh, I'll stick with the basketball. Directing, I get a chance to direct. My videos, my uh, first video I wrote the treatment, the whole idea and concept of the video. Second video I co-directed it. I got to be in front of the camera as well as behind the scenes, directing different camera angles, what I wanted to do, what I, how I wanted to balance it all out. The third video I'm about to shoot is going to be a production of mine. And then me and Eric White are going to have fun. Uh, I'm going to co-direct that as well, so it's going to be a great opportunity. Text messaging, I do that 25 hours a day. I'm on my phone constantly, text messaging my friends, whether it be business, whether it be uh, directing, uh, co-directing uh, ideas or whatever. Yeah. Fans, I love all my fans, 100%. Thank y'all for supporting me and everything y'all do to, to buy my record, to request my song, anything y'all do to support Chris Brown, I love y'all, thank you. Influences, Sam Cooke and Michael Jackson. 100% Sam Cooke because, um, just his whole like soulful voice, Michael Jackson, because he's an incredible entertainer. Dr. Dre, um, an incredible producer and a pioneer for a lot of rap artists as well as as well as producers in the game. The underdog producer man named me is basically hating on, a, on, a, on another female's boyfriend, and um, that's just like okay, 
Your man's not me, and I'm better than him, and you better face it. Future plans. I really have a lot of future plans to expand my goals, whether it be my clothing line, whether it be playing more basketball, whether it be acting, whether it be still recording an album or, or many albums to come. I'm just having fun with it.